ever wondered how the two main types of diabetes differ from one another? Today, I, your SugarFit Health Coach Venus, will be discussing with you just that. I'll be sharing all about what sets type 1 diabetes apart from type 2, how different are the risk factors involved with both the types, how do the treatments for these two types differ from one another and more. So let's get started. First off, let's start with understanding what is type 1 diabetes and what is type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a disease that makes the pancreas produce either a small amount of insulin or no insulin at all. If there's less insulin, there'll be high amount of sugar that stays in the bloodstream. It causes life-threatening situations and heavy damage. Whereas type 2 diabetes is a chronic and lifelong condition in which the cells in your body are unable to respond properly to insulin, thereby resulting in an increase in the blood sugar levels. It also forces your body to rely on alternative energy sources in muscles, internal organs and other parts of your body. Now let's understand the difference between the symptoms of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. When it comes to type 1 diabetes, the signs are quite precise for you to analyze. And once they start appearing, they keep getting more intense. That's because it takes months for the symptoms to show up even after it enters your system. Some of the symptoms of type 1 diabetes are dehydration, frequent thirst, extreme hunger, vomiting, stomach upset, weight loss, fatigue, improper vision, heavy breathing problem, mood swing, vaginal infections, skin infections, and frequent urination. You'll notice your body shaking, having constant confusion, heavy breathing, fruity breath, and impaired consciousness. These are some serious signs of type 1 diabetes. On the other hand, type 2 diabetes is not always easy to detect, as the symptoms for it may be unnoticeable. As the disease progresses, they can even worsen if left untreated. Some of these symptoms include excessive thirst and urination, unintentional weight loss, wounds that take longer than usual to heal or just don't heal, having blurry vision, constant urge to eat, fatigue and tiredness. I would strongly urge you to get yourself checked or tested by a doctor if you notice these symptoms. Do not ignore them. While we are at it, let's also look at who is at risk of developing type 1 diabetes and who is at risk of developing type 2 diabetes and how different are the factors for these two. For type 1 diabetes, those with a family history of diabetes, environmental circumstances that have many viruses, possessing autoantibodies or belonging to the few countries that are listed in the top category affecting diabetes are at risk of developing it. As for type 2 diabetes, those who are over the age of 45 have a family history of type 2 diabetes, are overweight, smoke, have had high blood pressure or led a sedentary lifestyle with lack of exercise, have a greater chance of developing the disease. Even the tests to detect these two types of diabetes are different. For type 1, there are three main tests used to diagnose the condition. The first is glycated hemoglobin test that helps determine the blood sugar levels of your body by analyzing the protein carried over red blood cells. It detects the sugar level included in hemoglobin. The second test is fasting plasma glucose. And as the name suggests, it requires you to fast before taking the test. It analyzes the blood sugar level in the body. The third one is an oral glucose tolerance test and can be taken two hours after consuming food. It is used to test the blood sugar level processing in the body. Now for type 2, there are four tests out of which the glycated hemoglobin test and the oral glucose tolerance test are common between both the types. The third one is the random blood sugar test where regular checkups are done to measure the sugar levels in the blood. The next test is a fasting blood sugar test where a blood sample is taken after the person fasts for at least 8 hours overnight to negate the influence of recent meals and food intake. Even the treatment for both the types slightly differ for each other. And it goes without saying that the treatment should always be backed with expert guidance and doctors. The treatment for type 1 diabetes includes taking insulin, counting your intake of carbs, monitoring blood sugar levels, 
eating healthy foods, exercising regularly, and keeping your weight under control. As for type 2, lifestyle changes like eating healthy, losing excess weight, strength training, doing cardio workouts, or yoga can help reverse the effects. And when lifestyle changes don't attract the desired results, medication is a must. While the differences may not be too opposite to each other, there are some that set them both apart. I hope this information helped you learn about the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And if you have any more questions regarding the same, then do not hesitate to leave a comment about it. And I'll be sure to answer them. Until next time, please subscribe to our channel to know more about diabetes.